This is the DJI Osmo Mobile 6, and this is a phone gimbal. Up until this point, I've never owned one, I've never thought that I needed to, especially with how good phone stabilization is, and especially in 2022, it just seems to be getting better and better. And I must admit, when I clicked the buy button, I did almost have an instant regret, and even when it came, I did think, I, I'm not gonna need to use this. But looking back now, I'm so glad that I ordered it. So all this product does is stabilize your mobile phone footage, but you also get some nice features on the app, such as time-lapse, hyperlapse, and active track. Active track being particularly good if you're someone that likes to vlog with your phone. I just want to start this video off by saying that this is not going to be a full review. There's already tons of reviews on YouTube already. I'll link a few good ones in the description. What this is, is a video from someone who thought that phone gimbals were completely unnecessary, but has changed their mind. So why would you want a phone gimbal like this for stabilization when phones already have pretty good stabilization? Well, on my Samsung S22 Plus, for example, you can set up stabilization by using the super steady mode. There is a standard video stabilization mode, but to be honest, it's not that good. There are a few flaws with the super steady mode. For example, on my Samsung S22 Plus, it limits you to 1080p, but not just that, you also get this weird warping effect if you move the camera too much. And this honestly doesn't look good, and you want to avoid this as much as possible. Granted, not all phones are like this. The iPhones, for example, will be slightly different. The gimbal, on the other hand, you can get great footage without using a super steady mode. Something else that I found really good about using this particular gimbal was being able to get low angle shots. That's also helped by the ergonomics of the whole thing, but also the fact that you have this extension rod so you can get low down without having to actually bend over physically, which for an old guy like me is a back saver. There's also a few really interesting modes on the gimbal itself, such as spin shot, which, you know, you're welcome to to try on your phone with just your hands, but you're never going to get it as steady as you could with a gimbal. With the Osmo Mobile 6, all you need to do is move the joystick, and these come out great. For me though, the biggest reason that a phone gimbal seems worth it is just the ergonomics of it all. I hate having to hold my phone in a weird position to try and get steady shots. If I'm walking along trying to get a steady shot, I often have to hold it low down and with both hands, otherwise the shots do not come out smooth. Whereas with the gimbal, it's just so easy. It's also worth bearing in mind that I actually have quite steady hands, and even then the phone footage doesn't come out that smooth. So if you don't have steady hands, then a gimbal is definitely a good choice. Now some of you are probably wondering, Jack, why would I spend £100 on a gimbal when I could just buy a selfie stick for like £10? Well that's where you have to weigh up the pros and cons of a product like this, and how it fits in with your style of shooting. I love the fact that this gimbal is super compact and portable, I can just fold it up and it fits right inside my pocket. You also don't need to balance it at all like normal camera gimbals, you just snap your phone straight on and it's balanced. I even used this gimbal for one of my previous videos when I shot the b-roll and I don't think anybody realised that this b-roll was shot on a phone and it looks great. At this point in the video you're probably wondering if I noticed any drawbacks using a product like this. Well one of them would be the fact that you now have another product that you need to charge and make sure that is charged in your bag so you can actually use it. This isn't really a big issue though and I tend to carry around a portable power bank so if I you know if I want to shoot and the gimbal needs charging, I can just quickly charge it up if I have to, but I usually just charge these things up overnight anyway before I'm on any kind of shoot, so it's never really an issue, and the battery life so far has been pretty good on this. The second thing is I use an Android phone, and DJI is known for not having the best support for Android, and one example of that is the fact that on the app I can only shoot in 4K 30fps or 1080p 30fps. It's not really a huge issue, but I would prefer to use 60, so what I do is I use the gimbal but I just go on the native camera app and use the options there. If I want to use some of the special features like time-lapse, for example, I'll use the app, but that's pretty much it really. My first impressions of this product are good. Like I said, when I first ordered it, I did have some slight regrets. And even when it came, like I said, I was thinking, oh, I'm not gonna need to use this, but honestly, it surprised me. And I love the fact that it's just so ergonomic to hold. It's lightweight, it's compact, makes the footage super smooth without having to use any super steady modes or anything like that on the phone itself, which actually degrades quality. Overall, I've just thought it's great. So to answer this video's question of do you need a phone gimbal in 2022, to be quite honest, I don't think they're a necessity, but they're gonna make your life a lot easier. You're going to get super smooth footage. The ergonomics for me is the biggest thing. The fact that I can actually hold my phone in pretty much any angle without having to break my back, that is the biggest thing because I really don't like having to get into strange positions just using my phone and my two hands. It's just really awkward, whereas the phone gimbal is just so easy to use. So yeah, I honestly think if you're looking at getting a gimbal, don't hesitate. 
either get the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 or an equivalent. There's plenty out there, but this is a great product. I've really enjoyed using it. And yeah, if you want to check it out, the links are in the description. So that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. It really helps out my channel. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.